Oh, there's a little bit of opening there. Can you clean up a little bit? You ready? Yes. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Hi, John. John's Hello. here today uh, for the first time, right, John? Yes. John's never seen a foot doctor in the past, right? I've never seen a foot doctor. Okay. So he's been diabetic for about, what, 10 years or so, you said? Uh, 10 or more, yes. Yeah. So he came in with this, possibly an ulcer here. He's got a cow, so I'm going to clean this out to see if there's opening or not. And there's obviously potential problem with the same type of cows. These things can open up and cause a... Uh, ulcer to form which is not good he's quite neuropathic which means he has n uh, numbness right yeah. these are kind of numb you don't feel any pain there at the no bottom pain, no. yeah so There's that's pressure but okay. yeah so that's the problem these things can come and he doesn't feel pain normally when people have it like this they would have a lot of pain but he doesn't so this can potentially be a big problem so I'm just gonna clean this out first and see uh, what it looks like underneath and then if it's opened up, then we have to treat it properly. We may have to modify shoes. Um, and then we have to give them instructions to soak it and putting, putting apply medications and such. So that's what we need to be doing. So right off the bat, I see a little hole here. You can see right over here. So so how are you managing your diabetes right now, John? Um, managing through diet and medication. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I follow a low-carb, basically a ketogenic diet. Okay. Um, and I take uh, some blood medication as well. Okay. How long have you been on the, on the diet? Um, since last May. Oh, okay. Is it working? Yeah, losing it's really weight? working very well, actually. You're losing um, weight too, or no? Yes. Uh, almost uh, 35 pounds. Really? Wow. So ketogenic works, huh? Yeah, it does. So what, what kind of ketogenic diet are you following? Like what, what do you have for breakfast and lunch? And um, dinner? So I'm mixing it with a little bit of intermittent fasting. So I oh, skip okay. breakfast. Um, for lunch, I have salad um, with uh, Italian dressing um, and, then, and uh, like tuna salad or egg salad. Uh, and then for dinner, I usually have... Um, it varies. Um, there's some uh, pizza that's low carb that you can have. Um, mm -hmm. I do a lot of fish, um, mm -hmm. a lot of healthy oils, uh, a lot of eggs. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that sort of thing. So when you skip breakfast, what happens? Do, does your sugar go down too low or no? Uh, no, no. It's uh, it stays pretty pretty stable actually. Uh -huh. uh, my sugar's right around like. Anywhere from 96 to 105 when I wake up. Oh, really? Up. Okay. Even in the morning? Yeah. When you when you first wake up, and that's that's where it's at? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and then I don't actually test again until I get home from work. Uh, uh -huh. And then it, it may be around like 120 or 110 or so. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's the A1C? Uh, the A1C, when I started, it was extremely high. It was um, 13 point really wow yes um and after a month it dropped to 10.7 mm -hmm. um and then uh after th at a three month checkup um it did drop all the way down to uh 5.8 5.8 wow mm -hmm. that's really good is that where it's at right now uh yes wow actually i should get my test results back in a week or so so i'll know for certain but wow. i'm feeling different so. so you've been doing ketogenic for how long now uh since last may that's so me. Right oh, now. okay. Wow. So is that is that doable? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. I did take uh, most of December off. Mm. Not off, but I yeah, I ate for Thanksgiving and I ate for oh, really? normal, normal for Christmas. Uh -huh. Do um, you have any cheat days where you eat some stuff that you shouldn't eat? Um, not often. Mm. Uh, How often? Maybe once a month. Once a month. Wow. Yeah. He's uh, stricter than mine. I, I have a cheat day once a week, like on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. I don't like pizza that much, but sometimes I'll have it. 
I'll have in and out. I do miss pizza, but there's actually an excellent uh, pizza recipe out there with uh, that uses sausage as a crust. Is that right? Yes. How does that taste? It's excellent, actually. Really? Yeah, it tastes really, oh. really good. Um, I guess it's based on a, there's a Chicago pizzeria that has it on its menu. So Is that right? So you cook it like that or you buy? Uh, no, I cook it. I oh, mean, really? I, yeah. Oh, that's great. So how about your intermittent fasting? So how, how many hours do you fast uh, every so day? So basically I eat lunch at noon mm -hmm. um, and then uh, no matter what my schedule is at night, I'll stop eating by eight. Mm -hmm. And then uh, so it's eight hours, you know, that I could, that I could potentially eat, uh, not eight hours that I continually eat. Um, and then but you have, you're, you're off 16 hour yeah. fasting then. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That's a, that's a pretty uh, common, you know, intermittent fasting some people do 20 hours fast or so even 20 and 4 i find that for my schedule like that works that's, pretty well yeah that's kind of hard huh yeah yeah uh, so far this uh there's a little area of small opening but it looks really good so i'm gonna have them start soaking in epsom salt okay. which kills all the bacteria actually the cells look pretty clear it's not like big opening so with this Blood sugar well controlled, and he's he's a he's a good uh, patient. I think we'll be able to get this all better quickly. We just have to make sure we take pressure off this area. We're going to modify his shoes to, you know, uh, make that happen. Uh, but I think I'm presently surprised and feel good that I think this is going to heal very nicely. So I'm going to put some medicine after this. Oh, there's a little bit of opening there. Turn the clean up a little bit. But it's not open open, so that's good. So I'm just cleaning out this calluses here off of it. And if you can take pressure off, I think this will nicely fill in. I think your sugar is the main problem. When people don't have their sugar well controlled, mm -hmm. and then these ulcers don't heal. I mean, obviously taking pressure off is very important as well, because your bone's kind of prominent in this area. Mm -hmm. Do you do like bone broth soup or anything like that? Uh, no. No? Okay. So I do recommend bone broth soup because it's got collagen, which makes up all of these skin and it, it heals the skin really well because you you have some skin that needs to fill in here. Okay. So any kind of beef or chicken, you know, like a chicken noodle soup, right? Be sure. When people get sick, got all the minerals and uh, other things that can help to heal the uh, wounds very okay. well. So I do recommend some chicken soup, or you can get bone stock chicken. Or I actually have beef. bone broth at home. I just haven't tried it yet. Oh yeah, yeah. I recommend highly. I mean, myself, I take it. Um, I'm gonna go over here and do these other calluses. Um, I recommend uh, about three times a week like for dinner or something. Have the bones broth soup because all the minerals are in it when you when you boil it for a while, right? When you cook it, mm -hmm. and then put some good spices in it: ginger, garlic, or whatever spice you like, make it taste really good. It tastes really good too. So this is a potential problem on this side, obviously, because of the callus. We want to keep the callus down so that it doesn't open up underneath uh, the callus. Right. So it's pretty much matching the other one before the other one got bad. Got bad, right? Yeah. So we'll accommodate both of his shoes so that uh, when he's walking on it, it's not uh, putting a lot of pressure here. Obviously, this looks pretty good other than having callus in there. So. I think this would work out quite well. So you, you boil it for a while, you know, like six, eight hours, you know, like mm -hmm. on the weekend. And then what I usually recommend people is to um, divide them up uh, with each serving, you know, okay. each meal, and then uh, put them in the Ziploc bag and then put them in the freezer. And then whenever you're ready to eat it, you just take it out and then um, eat it uh, you know at that meal I recommend about three times a week if you can which is what I do mm -hmm. and it's really good for your skin it heals your skin it lubricates all your joints your hair and everything will improve so it's a very good uh, way to improve your skin health uh, especially if you've got an ulcer and opening like this we really recommend that uh, that becomes a really good uh, thing to do uh, again it's got a lot of minerals too which helps everything too 
fell out too high, but yeah. So I took the cows out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some medicine there on that, uh, the other side, it's a little bit opened. I'm gonna give you instruction to soak in an Epsom salt daily, and then put uh, an antibiotic cream on it, which will be helpful as well. So that feels good. So let's go back here. So now I'm going to put some antibiotic cream on it and then I'm going to give them a prescription for this, um, it's called Sevadine. We're going to put this on it and then I had him bring out his shoes so we're going to accommodate his shoes. As you can see on this one, you can see that there's a little area where this area was hitting right here. So I'm gonna build up, build up a little pad around it like this. That would take pressure off when he's standing and walking on it. So I put a little pad right there. So I kind of match it up with his feet right here. And then the, the thing is right here. And then so I'm gonna just accommodate it like this and then they should be hitting it right there when so you're just taking pressure off the area I'm gonna put a couple of them there and uh, I'm gonna give him a couple extra too so we'll put this in the shoes when he walks on it it's the pressure's gonna be off and then we're gonna follow up with him in about a couple of weeks to keep cleaning it out and hopefully it will be all closed up soon